Hello and welcome to episode 197. We're going to have a, a look at display box. We're just going to do some very basic stuff. So let's uh, get on and summon one. Pop, pop the button on top. Okay, I'm also going to put down here. This one will remove it. Let's do this first. Uh, kill all entities um, type equals block display tag equals my block okay done and let's summon one summon a block display and we'll do it two in the positive z that's the way I'm looking now and tags my block okay what happens if we press this hmm, nothing and nothing if we try to kill it okay but killed block display so it did kill one so there was one there right okay well the problem is we haven't told it what it should look like so let's give it a block state block state needs a name and the name of any Minecraft block. Uh, let's use stone. There we go. So we've got a block state now. There we go. We've summoned one. But it's not here. The center of the block is this bottom corner here. We need to move it minus 0.5 in all directions. Down, X and Z. Okay, well we'll leave that one there as an example. No, we won't. Let's get rid of it. Let's align it with the execute command. Execute. Let's change where we're running the command. There we go. We're going to align the command to the X, Y, and Z. And then we'll summon it. There we go. Much better. Right. Let's make another one. We will shift... Uh, Control middle mouse, sorry, not shift. Control middle mouse to copy the entire block. Okay, here's our block. This time we're gonna align it in a different way. We are gonna add some transformation information. Some transformation information. So we'll just put transformation and we'll open and close that. And in there we have four different lists. We have left, Rotation, open and close the list. Oh, it's a list, square brackets. We have right rotation, open and close the list. We have translation, open and close that list. And we have scale, open and close that list. So those are four lists. You have to do all four, even if you're only changing one of them. And let's fill them in. So we'll have no rotation on the X, Y, and Z. And then we're just going to copy that and we're going to put it into right rotation as well. And we're going to put it into translation, but we're going to remove the one F and we're going to put it into scale and we're going to remove the one F scale. Let's have it on one and translation. This is where we're going to move it. So if we summon this now, done. You can see it's the same as our original one. Basically, we've done the same command as not including the align X, Y, Z. We've summoned it with default values. And because we haven't defined a transformation in here, it's used the default values. Here, we've actually specified default values. Let's change them. Let's put minus 0.5, minus 0.5, minus 1.5. Done. Let's get rid of all of those. Okay. Now we've moved it down, moved it that way, and we moved it that way by 0.5, and it's sitting on the floor. What is the difference? Well, we'll notice the difference if we try and rotate them. So they look exactly the same. But if we try and rotate these, we will see that there is a difference. Rotate. Done. Let's pop a lever on top. 
you will be a repeating command block. We will execute as. <laughs> oh dear me, there's a big mess of typing that was. Execute as any entity. Tag equals my block. We should probably put the type in there as well, maybe. I'm not sure if it's better to specify the type and a tag. I'm not sure if it's quicker. The difference must be very tiny. Block display as, and make sure you do it at yourself. Run TP yourself. Uh, we're just going to check its rotation. Done. Let's turn that on, and you will see they rotate differently. So have a look from above, you really see. This one is rotating on its corner. This one is rotating in its center. So if you want to rotate something around, you're probably going to want to use this one. Depends what you're making, I suppose. So there's a little bit of difference if we summon them one way or the other. Let's turn it off. Let's get rid of those. Let's get a copy of this block, control middle mouse. And let's play with some of the numbers. So scale, pretty obvious. If we make it two, 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 we are going to get a block that is twice the size of normal. There it is, twice as big. Obviously you can make that as big as you like. And if we make it smaller, can we go down to 0 0.5? 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's quite cool. What happens if we rotate that one? Okay, we'll see it's rotating in the center of that square. So it's on its corner. Can we, can we change that? If we get half of the scale, so let's try putting, so we've got the scale of 0.5, half of that would be 0 0.25. So let's try that and see if that's the way to do it. Okay, yeah, we've got that rotating. Let's uh, put another one of those down and see if we can get it to work with a bigger square as well. So let's say this square is gonna be two, to two, in which case I would expect these to be minus one, because that's half of two, minus one, minus one, done. Oh, we're in the ground a bit though, aren't we? So our translation for going into the ground is a bit off. Let's uh, get rid of that. So we need it to go up. So let's change its translation We've gone down too far. What about if we put 0.5? There we go, that looks good. And it should be rotating on its center. Yes, it is. Okay, that's another bit of playing we've done. Let's try something else. Let's get rid of that. Let's get another one of those. Pop it down. And this time I'm gonna to go to the beginning. I'm gonna just lift it up in the air a bit. And we're going to change the rotation. Now the rotation is if it's spinning around on its X, Y, or Z. So let's just change that to one. Left rotation one. Let's let's get rid of that. Let's stop that spinning around. That'll be confusing. We don't want that happening. So what have we got? Have we got a difference? Don't see much difference. Let's copy that block. Bring it over here just so I don't have to keep running all the way over there. Maybe one was too small. Let's try 45. Oh, didn't like 45. Okay, in that case, let's try. These are probably numbers between naught and one. Let's try 0.25. There we go. We've rotated it. So, it seems like it's gone up that direction. So maybe if we say 0 0.5, we'll expect it to be up here somewhere. Let's leave the old one there. 0 0.5. Oh, no, we've gone down. Ah, I see, it's rotating off this corner here. And it's rotating around that way. Okay, what's about 0 0.75? Yeah, okay, that's where we would have expected it to be. 
then we have one one okay so and then if we did 1.25 so we can see it's spinning around there and then I should imagine if we changed from that one to this one let's say not 0.25 now we're spinning around that way so before we were spinning that way now we're spinning that way and let's have a quick look to see what we're going to change if we change the y 0.25 and now it's spinning around that way okay so we can see what the left translation does and I haven't played with the, the right and left translation that much, but they seem to do pretty much the same thing. I think one goes clockwise and one goes anti-clockwise. Now, let's do a bit of scaling or interpolating. So we're going to change it from one scale or one shape to another shape. So what should we do it with? What does this make by itself? Up there in the air, all silly. Okay. Let's reset this to that actually we'll just leave it because we can just copy a different one can't we I think we've got let's copy no you're too small no you're too big yes you're just right it's like the Goldilocks and the infernal device in the three command blocks right let's have that one pop it in there pop it down let's have a look at what we've got so normal scale translation to make it centered and everything else is default. Yes. Okay, so let's use that. There it is. Right. Let's move it a bit further away. Four. And I'm going to get myself a repeater. There. Okay. And I want to merge some data into that. So I think I'm going to go all the way back to where it says transformation. Here we go. There, that's big. That looks like. Let's have a quick look. There we go. That's the beginning of transformation, and I am going to shift end and copy all of that. Done. And here I'm going to data merge with an entity. Um, any entity type equals block display. Uh, tag equals my block and limit equals one because we can only do one at a time and what data do we want to put let's type in what I just copied remove the bracket from the end and we're probably missing a bracket at the beginning there and put the bracket on the beginning okay right why are you not happy let's have a look why are you not happy How many have we got too many brackets? So we've got scale and its little list, that's okay. We've got translation and its little list, that's okay. Left rotation. Okay, here we go. I found the problem. We have open one bracket, open two brackets, and then we've got all our lists. And right at the end, we are only closing one bracket. So we have to put that back on. So we're not actually changing anything at the moment. We've got a delay here. So we summon it, little delay, and then we merge exactly the same data into it. So nothing's gonna happen. Yep, nothing's happened. Now all we have to do is change something here. Uh, let's, let's change its scale. Let's change its scale to two. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna appear, and oh, it's jumped up to two. Nice, but it jumps. We might want it to sort of stretch slowly. So let's do stretching. Let's animate it more than rather than just have it change because we could have just summoned two blocks. So we're going to need some extra information at the end here. So after we've done the transformation, so we've closed the brackets for the transformation and we're going to have start interpolation. This is the frame it starts on. We're just going to keep that as zero. We're just doing basic and we're going to have interpolation 
duration, this is how long it will take. And let's say it's going to take one second. So 20 ticks. Done. Appears and it takes one second to stretch. Nice. OK, let's change something else. Uh, let's say it takes two seconds to stretch. That's pretty, pretty simple change. And up it goes. OK, and obviously you can change any of the transformation information that you want. Ooh, transformation information. We can make it go two on the Z as well. Yeah, there we go. It's quite fun. And we could you could just go crazy. You could just stick in a random rotation if you want. Let's let's put a bit of left rotation. What did we have before? 0.5. Let's see what happens if we do that. Oh wow. Whoa, it's stretching and turning. Okay, we, maybe we can move it up at the same time as well. What would that do? So moving it up. So if you want to move it, that's its translation. We're on minus 0.5 at the moment. We're rotating by 0.5. Let's lift it up to, let's lift it up to zero. See what that does. Zero. Pretty weird. I'm not sure if it's that useful, but I'm sure someone will find a, a use for these uh, to make something cool. Let's just chuck in another random value just to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, we'll put a, a 0.5 in there. So we're going to rotate it on the X. We're going to rotate it on the Z. We're going to lift it up into the sky. Let's lift it right up to one. And let's make it go fat in all directions. So twice the size. Let's see what that does. Up and bit of rotation. OK. Let's change that to 20 because it would be a silly way to end the video. 20, 20, 20. Let's lift that up to 15. I wonder how high we could set this rotation. Can we set it to two? Set the rotation to two and two. What's that going to do? <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh, oh my God. Uh, well, yeah, well, we've made something. But anyway, that's, hmm. Oh, this is, that is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's not happy. Don't do that. Okay, 20, too high, too high. Abandoned world. Oh dear, get rid of that. And I will leave it there as a reminder of how silly I am. Okay, but that's how we play around with some basic things for the display, the display block. We can stretch it over time. We can rotate it. We can offset it. We can do a few little things. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.